time now for Random Rush. You know the drill. I listen to Rush Limbaugh for 60 seconds randomly, and then I respond in 90. It is now uh, 1.10 p.m. East, Eastern time. Let's check it out. That is, just to reiterate, he just tried to hammer the last nail into Mitch McConnell's re-election coffin in 2014 in Kentucky. He just credited Mitch McConnell for this. It wouldn't have happened without Mitch McConnell. My Republican leader colleague. He's just none of the. Harry Reid knows how much you hate this. He knows how much we hate this. And that's why he's happy. Obama's happy. Now, Harry Reid might go two hours today with a little cooperation. Obama won't be able to help himself. And they're throwing parties at the White House and all that right now. But I just, I want, I want to take you back to what Reid said in 2006, I, I again, I, I don't think there's any value in this in terms of persuading people. I mean, nobody's going to hear me read this. Oh, Reed said that. Well, I don't like him today. That's not. It's just interesting to know. When Bush was in the White House and the Republicans wanted to raise the debt limit for the same reasons the Democrats have been giving. Well, we got to pay off our bills. My God. Really. All right. So here's Rush Limbaugh. Now, you understand what the, what they have to do here. None. You understand that as much as I complain about the sequester levels, nothing the Republicans happened, uh, wanted has happened in this deal. Nothing. Zero. The only thing they managed to do was to make the IRS more intrusive when it, uh, when it checks income verification for Obamacare. That may gum up the works a little bit. It may not. But the bottom line is they achieved Nothing. So what do you do? How do you how do you comfort conservatives in this time? Well, of course, you just make them you you turn the wine meter up to 11. And Harry Reid is so overjoyed and they're bad winners. The idea of conservatives complaining about bad winners They're trying to crush the Republican Party. That's what they set out to do with our government shutdown and our threatening the debt ceiling. I saw Tim Carney try and play that card last night on All In With... Are you kidding me? Ted Cruz is out to destroy the Republican Party because he builds his email list so he can make more money. Now, this is we're just going to hear the conservative whining for a while because they've let Bonaire off the hook. They've let all their leaders off the hook. They've shown themselves to be paper tigers and they've shown themselves to be just crapping on the rubes who continue to give them money. And the only way to deal with that is to make them feel like it's really Harry Reid's secret plan to make them feel bad about themselves. I went a little long. I actually like that scenario. Like Harry Reid just kind of slinked up to Ted Cruz one day in the Senate. And he's like, hey, buddy, dude, I got an idea for look. Just as a friend, I'm going to hate this. But I, I appreciate, you know, you're new to the Senate. You're trying to make a name for yourself. Shut down the government. Yeah. 